I think it's I think it's going. What up, nerds? He thinks it's going. Yeah, I think it's going. What up, hippies? I'm Waldo. I'm the Matt. I'm Ready Key. And we are. Face for wrestling. And we are flying down to Austin right now, right after school let out on a Thursday afternoon, October 6, 2022, to inspire AD Pro Wrestling in Austin, Texas, for the long walk home. Because Jungle, 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 Jungle. We're gonna go see Jungle Kiona and Vert Vixen and Rachel Rose and a lot of other people. But not Danny B because she's from Oklahoma. Danny B's gonna be there too. Ooh. Yay. You like Danny B? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to point out something here real quick or bring up something from one of our last ride-alongs that we had. Uh, we had mentioned uh, in the 57 that we didn't have the camera holder. What we're doing here, so now we got to do camera stabilization again on the edit, post-edit. Yeah. But the other thing, too, is, is that Old Sports Talk has brought up an excellent point. We have been traveling to Central Command for the last, what, two months now? Yeah, something like that. We've changed cars. Yeah, multiple times. So... You can't see me blinking, but I am blinking. So we gave up and we're just heading to Austin right now. <laughs> yeah. Going to Austin, watch some wrestling. Are you excited to see some wrestling? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> so, as you know, we like to just make up topics as we go along on these trips uh, based off of something we see or like the car we're in. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we got Renekin with us. So Waldo, I thought I'd bring up a cool idea. Favorite family friendly characters so like wrestlers that were kind of existed in order to like bringing the family bringing in bringing families sort of like the way Dewdrop was made for kids in, in recent fed history yeah uh, I assume she's not making either of our lists because we, we prefer get... Viper but something along those lines and to start off with okay Renekin who's your favorite wrestler I don't really know um, Who are some of your favorite wrestlers then? Renegade Twins. Obviously. My dad ain't no wrestler. No, no I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing, the, the, I'm wearing the twin shirt right oh. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Matthew. Uh, what? That's true. <laughs> He's not a wrestler. That's true. <laughs> uh, are you a big fan of the new Mission Pro Wrestling Champion? Yeah, that's you. No, the no, actual no, new no, Mission no, Pro no, Wrestling no. Champion. <laughs> Genocide. Wait, is she coming? No, she won't be there. But are you? Do you like genocide? Yes. Yeah, she's. I would consider her a family friendly yes. wrestler. Yeah. Uh, she thoroughly enjoys wrestling for the families, the kids, and the kids love her, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, that being said, the Renegade Twins, genocide. Walden, do you have somebody on your list? Yes, uh, I do. Let's go for it. Uh, also, I w- want to clarify real quick. Timeline. Is there any restriction, like no, past, present, no, future? Just, okay, because yeah, I, have, I have a few of them that are family yeah, friendly. Yeah. Uh, but the one that sticks out to me the most is from Chikara, and it's the ant colony. I see. You kind of stole my idea. <laughs> I was definitely going to go with some Chikara, and I was going to go with ant colony. They are by far the most family friendly wrestlers and stable that I have seen in a long time. And if you're an adult, you can follow along with the story of the broken antenna and, and becoming like there's a lot there for every. Yeah, uh, it, it was. They knew their audience. Yeah, and, and double thumbs up to them. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely would throw out there for them. This one's my favorite for personal reasons. I don't think it succeeded, but that's kind of what makes it so great to me. We're going Lex Express, baby. That, no. Yes, it was meant for kids. He was supposed to okay, go out it there. It was. It was meant. <laughs> he was supposed to go out there and shake babies and kiss hands, like. It was meant, and like just how much it's become this big deal nowadays after finding out all the stuff about it, mm-hmm. it's one of my favorite things. Just because he should have, if he would have embraced that even a little bit. Just a little bit. Lex Luger would be one of the biggest wrestlers of all time instead of just a good wrestler that probably makes the top 50 of all time. Yeah, yeah, I can see that because the intent was there. Yeah, I love what the company was willing to put behind it. The wrestler felt in this aspect. Yeah. It, it, right gimmick, wrong person, so yeah. to speak. Question for you, though. Yeah. Who would have been really good at that time frame in that? In that time yeah. frame? Uh, dude, could you imagine Macho Man in that gimmick? 
No. The macho? Yeah, dude. He was all in on, like, everything he did. He was, but he also had something else going on. Right, but, I mean, the Macho Express, he would have been going into malls. He'd have been, like, bringing Lanny Poffo with him to introduce him and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that. I, I'm I building this that. in my brain. It would be phenomenal. I, Sting would have been great at it. Wrong company. When but, he was surfer Sting, he makes this list. Yeah. Also, oh, you yeah. bring up Lanny Poffo. His early days before he became, uh, what was it, the professor or the... The genius. The genius. Yeah. Before he became a genius, when he was still doing the Frisbee thing. Yeah. That was kind of family friendly. 100%. All the kids out there were grappling each other, trying to catch one of them Frisbees. He's a very solid wrestler. Lenny Poffo, generally for me, is underrated. Fair. Uh, he, not not like he should have had a world title, but... No, but he even admits this. Yeah. He, he should have been... Should have been higher on the mid card. He should be known better than just being Macho's brother. There you go. Yeah, yeah. He he did enough to where he he shouldn't be remembered as. Yeah. Uh, he happens to be a part of that family. All right, Renegade. Right, who's another wrestler you like to see? I would like to see. Yeah. The measuring stick here is that if you if you want to see them or if you like them, then they're family friendly. Yeah. Or we're hoping. <laughs> it's a hard choice. It is a hard yeah, choice. But you can name whoever you think yeah, of. Whoever. Mochi. Who? Mochi. Who's Mochi? No, no, no. no, no wrestler. No, an actual Mochi. wrestler. Not a book. <laughs> an, an actual wrestler. Um, Who do you like going to see at Light Mission Pro? Besides the Renegade Twins and Genocide. Say. Jasmine. Jasmine? You like Jasmine? Alor. Yeah, yeah. We're big Jasmine look. Second ever. <laughs> Mission for a wrestling champion. Never, Never forget. forget. Second of four. Second of four. Second we of have four. A new one. Uh, don't 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 put the book in the camera. We're not sponsored by Mochi. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Jasmine added to the list. I'd agree with that. She's also one of those ones that's really lovely to talk to afterwards and go get t-shirts from and like she always takes time takes the time to hang out with the fans and like be nice to kids. So, a positive, a positive. Well done. You've gone with the ant colony. Who you got next? This is kind of a stretch, but it but the numbers don't lie and they spell success. Okay. The Von Erics. They were for yeah. Before eighty six. Yeah, no, they were all about Texas and family and community. Right. And they even marketed a lot of their events around family events like Texas State Fair and everything going on in the DFW area and just Texas overall. Yeah. And they had multiple members of the family and it, they ran that storyline so perfect during that time frame to where it was like they weren't always using the fam Bon Eric family as a crutch, but they wanted everybody else out there to kind of buy into that whole family helps family thing. Yeah. I would agree with that. What, who you got? Um, the, the kind of it popped. Oh well, no, never mind. It changed immediately. Uh, I'm gonna go New Day. Uh, after they got past the, are they gonna be hill or face? When they started bringing out the unicorns and throwing pancakes and like, when they let them be themselves. When they let them be themselves, be three go goofy grown men with who pancakes. Like to have fun. Um, I don't know that any three-man team, three-woman team in wrestling ever has pushed as much merch as they have. Um, has been as successful. In such a short amount of time. I'd say period. I, I, I would be... I'd have to see the numbers for, for me to believe. So I, I understand that, but I'm saying like they yeah. have not been New Day That's true. in the history of wrestling that long. Yeah. Um, they're also one of the most decorated tag teams in WWE history, which I think is phenomenal. Yep. Uh, Love all three of them. Uh, you definitely get the hint from like not hint, but you get the vibe from Kofi. He's a big family man. Like if you've ever seen any of the up, up, down, down stuff, like he's all about his family. Uh, same thing with Xavier. Uh, and then Big E just seems to be the most nice person ever in the world. Uh, he's the only guy I've ever known of that broke his neck and was like positive about yeah. it. Like, I broke my neck. It's all good. It's all good. Y'all get some sleep. I'll get better. Like. Props to the new day. I gotta give it to the new day. All right, you got one more for me. One more wrestler that you love. 
It can be somebody you've seen on Stardom. It can be somebody you've seen on TV or somebody you've met at Mission Pro. Um, Death Yama? Death Yama. Yeah. I, I, she, hey, the bar was is that if she liked she them. Likes it, they're family yep. friendly. Uh, Death Yama was really good. Uh, the whole Death Mountain gimmick. I, I would agree, like, I, I'm a fan. Uh, and legit, she used to run around and do the Death Yama, and when Death Yama changed her gimmick up a bit, I remember Renekid being sad, because she was like, why isn't she Death Yama anymore? So, why is it I, I this, give it to her. Why is it Clown Yama? Yeah, why is it Sad Clown? Well, first she was Death... <laughs> no. First she was Death Yama. Then it was, um... Clown Yama, Clown, Clown, yeah, Clown Yama, and then it's... She's sad French Yama, I think, now. It's sad something like that. French something Yama. Like that. But I really like Death Yama because she always used to... Yeah, like the headbanging and the... Do that thing. Yeah, death, 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 Yama, death. Ah! Gotta throw the things up. Ah! Ah! I would agree with that. I think that's a good addition. All right, Waddle, you got one more in you. <laughs> it's the Death Clock gimmick without being Death Clock. <laughs> right. <laughs> I do have one more in me, and I will tap in the stardom well. My you. I assume you're going there. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. All right, Dad. Did you That's want right. to elaborate any? Or you because, to... because she's the ultimate face of and she sells tickets. She connects with the kids over there. Uh, we've seen, like, behind the scenes with uh-huh. stardom sometimes. We've seen... Other people post up reaction videos to like their live show uh, experience, yeah. and they've seen Mayu out there just basically family friendly. Everybody wants to go get an autograph from her. She embraces to, everything to an extent. I would give it to the whole Stars faction as well. Yeah, it's their family friendly faction, and without like forcing it down your throat. There's a definite, like, girl power, like, you can do it, you can achieve it vibe to Mayu that they haven't forced down your throat, and therefore it's still believable. And right, actually they're still letting it happen organically. Yeah. yeah. And it just proves how much more of a face that she is than Saki, because Saki's a heel and a betrayer. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not, since we're, we're saying positive, uh, <laughs> Mayu's on your list. Uh, the evil Mayu. Um, so for my final... My final family friend. I almost wanted to go Doink, but he was like the complete opposite. But he was. He did. Kids. He did have. What was it? Like a six to eight month run. Like a small run. Yeah, yeah and it worked. Yeah, but he's going to be an honorable mention for me. He's not going to be my next yeah. one on the actual list. Um, I, I'm going to go with Surfer's Thing. Uh, I was the right age when I started watching wrestling. That Surfer's Thing got me into wrestling in the first place. Um, Who didn't want to be Surfer Sting? I didn't want to be Surfer Sting. To me, it was kind of like the Batman equation. I wanted to be Surfer Sting's Robin. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, that's why they created Robin for DC comic books. It's because nobody wanted to be Batman, but they wanted to be friends with Batman. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be Luger, I guess. (laughs) I wanted to be Sting's Robin. I wanted to hang out with this guy. Oh, (laughs) Ah. A metal forearm. <laughs> no. Um, but for real, like, that was my thing. Um, and as a parent, like, you could watch and go, yeah, I want my kid to be like Sting. No matter who Sting was in the ring with, if you saw a server Sting in a match, you knew it was going to be a family-friendly event. 99% of the time, yeah. Even through the horseman stuff. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I think for me Sting will always be on probably every list we ever do for me in some way, shape, or form. Honorable mention. Okay. Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially Polka Dot Dusty. Yeah. Um, uh, he embraced it and made it work. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he definitely did a great job with that. And through the hard time stuff, too. Like, the kids wanted to grow up to be Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. Hard times. Uh, hard times. Hard times. Hard times. Do we, do we want to not necessarily go into explanation, but throw out a couple more people from different companies? Can you think of anybody else, or are we going to call it there? No, we're going to call it here, because we're going to crank up another one here in a second. Okay. So that's been our family-friendly, our face-for-wrestling family-friendly list 
of wrestlers that you can check out and like with your family, like see their highlights on YouTube, check them out. Uh, Rena Kid approves, correct? Yep. Uh, so that's it for this show. I'm the Matt. I'm the Rena Kid. Hi, Waldo. And remember, don't forget everyone is different and everyone is good. <laughs>